Following on from the previous two videos, we were trying to work out the volume of the torus. So, so we had a circle like this, we're going to rotate it 360 along the x-axis. That would then trace out a 3D solid. Uh, we were trying to work out the volume of that 3D solid. And I gave a long explanation that um, the volume would be given by would be given by this. Would be given by this. So this is a constant, this is a constant, we can factor it out, it will then give us this. So now it's just a matter of evaluating this. So so here's an, here's a, a more efficient way of evaluating this. So uh, the trick here is to replace this bit with a new variable. So let um, let uh, let u equals uh, equals this thing here. Okay. So so if you let u equals this thing here, then you automatically get this. So if u if u equals this thing here, then uh, then then y would be this. And then if, if you look back to this, if you differentiate both sides, uh, this will be du, and then this will be uh, dy. So uh, so now um, now we can put this into into the dy. Uh, the y here we can put this into into here, and then here we've got r squared. But but and then this thing here will be uh, will simply be u. So this whole thing here, this whole thing here. Will then become will then become this, okay? So now um, now don't forget we are we are evaluate we are integrating with respect to y from here to here. Now because we made this substitution, we are work we are now working in terms of u, du. So we need to make the adjustment to here and here. So um, so hang on. So currently we are currently we are here. We are integrating with respect to y from here to here. Because we made this substitution, we are now we are now in the du world. So we need to make adjustments here and here. So let's let's try and sort out the adjustment. Don't forget, we are integrating from capital R minus R to capital R plus R. So if you look at this, hang on. so but basically we are trying to evaluate. We are trying to work out this. We are trying to to make the adjustment to to here. And here, okay. So hang on. So um, so if you look at this here, uh, uh, in in the um, in the dy realm, we were trying to integrate from here to here. Now we we make this substitution. So now we are we are now in the du world. So if you look at this this if you look at the substitution that we made, hang on. Let's let's rearrange this. Um, so here you've got dy. Rearrange this. Uh, so that we, we will work in terms of y. So if you add capital R to both sides, that will then give you this. So don't forget, we are we are integrating from here. So this is this here is from from when y equals this. So if we put this into the y here, that will then give us this uh, capital R minus R, and then uh, and then here you've got this thing here. So now take away capital R from both sides. So uh, so u. So when we're living in our du world, u would be minus r, minus r here. So um, yeah, so so if, if you make the so this bit here would be minus r. We are integrating from minus r to to something here. Let's let's work out that something here. So looking looking at our substitution, let's let's make y the subject because we are we are integrating from y equals this. To y equals this. So looking at this, make y the subject. So u plus capital R equals y. Don't forget we are integrating to to this point here, which is which is capital R capital R plus small r. Uh, let's carry this down. So this will then become this. Take away r from both sides. So u would 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 be um, would be r here. So that's this R here. So, so we are, so we are integrating from negative R to capital R. Okay, so, so earlier, earlier we, uh, we were integrating from here to here in terms of Y. But because we made this substitution, we are now living in the DU world. When the DU world, the equivalent would be us integrating from, from negative R to positive R. So we are now currently at this stage. Okay. Hang on. We are uh, we so we we are currently at uh, yeah. Hang on. Bear with me. We are currently at this stage here. Well, the, um, multiply this out. 
So here you've got this thing here. Multiply this out. That would then give you that would then give you uh, give you this. Hang on, let me think. Uh, yeah. So so multiply this out here. That would then give you uh, get what what well, yeah. So so this whole thing here. Let's let's evaluate this as two separate integrals here. So you've got you've got one integral here. So uh, so that's this bit here, and then uh, and then this thing here. So this thing here is another integral here. So evaluate this separately. So let's try and evaluate this separately from this. Okay. So um, so evaluating this here would give us um, well. If you look at this here, this is the exact derivative of this. So, so we can easily integrate this. So, so if you look at this here, currently you've got, um, currently you've got r squared minus, uh, u, uh, squared to the power of a half. And then you've got this u here. Because, because this thing here is near enough the exact derivative of this, you should make your guess to be 3 over 2. Now, if you differentiate this, if you differentiate this whole thing here, uh, uh, let's let's get rid of this. So so we are trying to integrate this, um, but the, but but then make this to be your initial guess. If you differentiate this, it will give you three over two uh, bracket r minus blah 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 here, and then this thing gets minus by one, so that will then give you this. But then you could have times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be negative 2u. Uh, so, so, so looking at this, you, you've got a u here, you've got a u here. Well, integrate this, it will then give you this. Use whichever method you want. We've done this many times. So if you integrate this, it will then give you this. And don't forget you're evaluating it from negative r to r. Okay? And then, uh, hang on, let me think. So, so from here, that will then take us to here. Um, if you, oops, Oops, hang on, bear with me, sorry, bear with me. So, uh, so hang on, bear with me. So where were we? Hang on, bear with me. Uh, hang on, bear with me. Hang on, bear with me. I think we were here. Yeah, so, 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 so we are evaluating this and this separately. Well, if you, um, if you evaluate this, it will give you zero because if you put this into the u here, so uh, so that r squared will be will be small. Well, if you put the r into here, this thing here will be zero. So the whole thing here will be zero. If you put this into here, when you square it, it will be r squared, meaning that this whole thing here will be zero, meaning the whole thing here will be zero. So so it really boils down to us evaluating this. So now, now it's just a matter of evaluating this. Uh, capital R is a constant, so let's let's take it out here. So it really boils down to us integrating this. So to integrate this, uh, use trigonometric substitution. So your eyes to zoom into this bit here, and then create a triangle in such a way that this will be true. So if you make the hypotenuse to be R, the adjacent, the uh, the opposite to be U, then uh, then then. Then, then, then the adjacent will have no choice but to be this. So once you've done your triangle, you can immediately obtain this. And then, uh, and then blah, blah, du here. You can put it into the du here. And then, uh, from the triangle, you can automatically obtain this. So, so that means you can put this into, into here. And then, uh, and then this whole thing here will then become, will then become this. Okay. And, and, uh, uh, and, and don't forget, you, you need to make the adjustment to the, uh, to here and here as well, because here you are living in the du world. You made the substitution, um, you made the substitution here, so you are now in the, in the d theta world here. So you need to make the adjustment here. So I've made the adjustment already. So hang on, so just to show you that, so, so making the adjustment, r here will then become positive pi, pi over 2. And then this, uh, this R, negative R here will then become, will then become negative, uh, uh, negative pi over 2. So we, we've done something similar to this. So, so if you look at this, du, so, so in the du, we are integrating from negative R to R. 
because we made this substitution here, that would then take us to to uh, to d theta here. So if you um if if you uh, so don't forget you we are integrating from negative um negative r. So we are integrating from negative r to to this well this thing here. Well, if you put this into here, it will then give you this. Hang on, um, sine theta here. Divide both sides by by r, and that would then give you this. So, so basically, use the same technique. That would then take you to this. This thing here would then take you to positive pi over two. So basically, we've done this now. So we we are currently here at the moment, and then uh, and then uh, and then well, clean merge these two together. That would then give you this cos squared, and we've integrated cos squared many times. Um, immediately jump to this, and then uh, and then factor out the uh, the half here, factor out the half here, so that will cancel out with this four here, giving you a two, and then blah blah. We've done this many times, so so that so integrating this will then give you this, and then uh, uh, and then put this into here, put it into here, and blah blah blah. It will then take you to here, and then overall your answer will be this. Okay.